You know, Jim, what I really love about macaws is all the different things they can do with their beaks and their tongue. They can do things with just their mouth that you couldn't do using your hands. Ha! Open this nut. Brazil nut? Brazil nut. Brazil nut. Bet you I can't can open, open that. that. No, you can't. Can I use my shoe? Sure, try. <laughs> can't not do it. Not a chance. Not a chance. Here, I'll even give you a, a help. That's right. Uh, higher, higher animals are distinguished by their intelligence, right? Tool use. In certain instances, they are, yes, Jim. <laughs> Very good. Now, how are you going to eat that? I can't. Uh-huh, you swooshed that. it to smithereens. Try again. See if you can open it gently and get the nut out in one piece. Well, well yeah, kind of. Okay, it a little me practice. A this is the higher animal thing here. Okay. Too easy. Too easy. Okay, here's another challenge for you. I want you to open up this peanut and Got eat it. it without using your hands. No hands? They use their feet. You could use your feet. Okay, try just the mouth. I'm gonna shell the peanut. There you go. Now you have to separate the red skin out. Oh. They don't eat the red skin, they discard that. <laughs> you know, the other thing I like about macaws I'm is the delicacy in their grace. Mm. Well, you didn't do too bad at that. I have one more challenge for you. The sunflower seed. Baseball player. We need a baseball player. I'm not a baseball player. Sunflower seeds? Yep, that's right. Open it and eat the hull. Eat the, the kernel inside. Wow. I don't know, Jim. If you had to eat a meal that way, I think you'd lose little weight. A little slow, a little slow, but I'm not built for the rainforest or eating nuts, and macaws are, right? That's right. Let's see how they do it. Do they get pliers? They don't need pliers. This is Sergeant Pepper, and Sergeant. he loves sunflower seeds. Hi, Sergeant Pepper. Yeah. Come here, big guy. I don't think he sees it yet. There he goes. There he goes. Selects a single seed without biting me. Opens it, guards the shell, and eats the kernel without using his feet. Just like that. You see that again? You want to time him? One thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand eight. You know, okay, faster so than you, Jim. <laughs> much faster than the zoo director. He's got two things going for him. He's got that major league beak, right? Yes. Um, and then his tongue is almost more like a like a, a finger. That's very true. If you can see it or not, but. You want to see what he does with a larger nut? Sure. How about peanut? Sure. This is one of his favorites, too. I want to see him do the red skin. Okay, well, he's cheating. Foot he's action. His foot. You could have done that. You could have used your foot. See, there goes the, the red skin falling to the ground. They don't like that red skin. Cool. Can we see him try one of the big Brazil nuts? You bet. Mr. Power Beak. There he goes. Like it's a potato chip. Oh, there must be a little bit of meat in that end, huh? Yep, he's not going to lose a morsel. He's not going to. No, none of this nut shattering and going all over the ground business for him. Because you're right, if he's been, if he's in the wild and he's been flying around the rainforest looking for the, just the right tree, and just with nuts, and just the right stage of development for his food, he's not going to pluck one off and then drop one on the ground. That's right. Or, or waste a morsel. You can see that, that 
tongue there. I hope you can hear it too. It's popping and cracking. There you can see his tongue. They're very delicate when they want to be with that mouth. The pairs will preen each other. They'll um, like groom each other's feathers and scratch each other on the back of the neck where they can't reach um, very delicately. But we've also known of people getting nipped by macaws. And uh, wow, you talk about the power in that beak. It hurts. Ouch. You have to respect him a little bit. I'm gonna have to give Clyde one too. He's standing over there looking all left out. What would he prefer? Oh, you can give him a big one. Oh, Clyde. I'm not sure he wants one from me. Here you go, bud. Want one? There you go. Oh. Enjoy. I want to grab it just the right way. You know, Margaret, people walk by. They like the macaws. I mean, they're a beautiful bird. They see the, the beautiful feathers and walk on by. They sometimes miss fine little details like this that we could show on TV that that every single animal has amazing adaptations and talents and abilities. Well, we've shown that the macaws adaptations allow them to open nuts a lot quicker than you can. Next, on a future episode, maybe we'll talk about their intelligence. Oh, oh, oh that hurts. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. Right there, man. Just right there. I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> I'm leaving. This whole nutcracking thing is for the birds. <laughs>